Hi, this is Cheryl and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am creating eight leprechaun sun catchers. As you can see, I have their eyes painted and a little pocket on um, one side of the leprechaun's body painted with uh, Pebeo Vitrea paints. They're 160 paints and you put them in the oven at 320 for about 45 minutes and let them cool on their own and uh, the paint becomes permanent. As you can see, I have it on a cookie sheet with an old silp hat that I don't use for food anymore and um, that's all I need. It doesn't doesn't bother the silp hat and it's just um, a simple little stick it in the oven and we're good to go. So moving forward, I went ahead and I foiled all of my pieces and um, I didn't want to bore you with that. I have other videos where I show, I show you how to foil. Um, and then I, I want to make sure that every single piece is perfect because this is the foundation for your soldering. So I'm trimming off some of the overlaps that you can see and there may be some sides where I don't like the thickness of the foil. So I'll trim it back and that's what I'm doing here. So you need to inspect both sides of every piece and make sure that it looks the way you want it to look. And I won't bore you with all of it, um, so we'll skip ahead. And um, I fit these up, make sure they all fit nicely together. So that's what I'm doing here, making sure my pieces look good. And I missed the little head there that didn't get foiled, so I had to add the foil to that. So stick with me, this video will show you how to add the hat and how to add hair to your pieces. So I have all my little um, leprechauns all fitted up and they're ready to be um, tacked together. I'm getting my materials ready and we need to flux um, the little um, areas where we're going to put a dab of um, solder because we want to put the solder like in the in the intersections like that will hold the pieces together it's really just to tack the pieces together so that when you do go to solder they won't move around on you So we want to add a little bit of flux. Where you're going to put the little tacks. And your pieces do move around. This pattern is has a lot of small pieces to it. So put the pieces back together, make sure you have your flux there. And all you're doing is just putting a little dab, just a little bit, Just to, it's just to hold the pieces together so they don't float around on you. Of course, make sure your pieces are where you want them to be when you tack it. And really, it's the lightest touch. You don't need to, you know, be heavy handed. It's just the very tap. It's just a little tiny tap with the solder, just enough to get it on there and hold the pieces. Of 
Okay, so I have them all tacked and I flipped my little guy over. And now I'm going to, um, I'm adding flux to everything. And I, I, this is just how I work. I like to fill the gaps. I like to fill the seams and make sure that there's solder there. And then I go back over it to clean up my lines, my solder lines. So really what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting solder there and I really don't care how it looks. And I'm not going to do all five of all eight of them in front of you. Um, so we jump ahead. So I flip my pieces over. I got the flux, the uh, solder on the front side. Flip my pieces over, and I solder the back. Same thing, uh, only on this side I'm going to finish it off and try to make it look the way I want it. I usually end up going over the whole piece again at the end. Nice steady smooth lines gives you the nice uh, seams that, you, that you're after. And here I'm tinning the edges. Slow and steady is what works best. Some, add some um, solder to the edges, it's called tinning. I'm adding flux to the edges and we're going to um, finish off the front side first with the tinning.
And now we're going to make some nice beaded edges. We'll move forward and do the beaded edges. I'm only showing you the one piece, that way it's not such a long video. Cut out a lot of the footage. And just little taps. It puts the, the solder on the edges and just little tapping. And you'll see that um, the solder will form a nice little um, rounded edge finishing off the edges for your piece. If you don't like the way it looks, just tap the iron on it again and it will smooth out. Oh, and another tip for you, I never listen to my own tips, but anyway, another tip for you is don't work over top of your finished pieces because then you're gonna have to fix them again if you drip solder onto them. I've done that many times. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, I suppose. That's the saying. I have to take my own advice. See how I tap on the edges? Just little taps of heat melts the solder that's there, blends it all together. You're looking for a nice smooth finish. And now I go back over my front side and make sure that my soldering is the way I want it. Now remember, if you leave the iron on one spot too long, the solder will seep through the seam into the back. So you want to keep moving and don't heat an area up too much at one time. You want to heat it up just enough for it to start to flow and then leave it. So if you're thinking about doing stained glass, I can tell you one thing. It is an addictive hobby. I picked it up to try and I have never put it down. So it's very addictive and fun. And can be profitable as well. Don't forget to hit the like button for me. The um, YouTube algorithms like to see videos with likes and comments. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, or we can just chat, that, that'd be fine too. I go over the entire piece and make sure it's how I want it. I left this video all at um, regular speed. Hopefully it helps you see what I'm doing and how long it takes to
perfect the pieces. And I'm always looking for a nice rounded bead on my soldering. So if there's not enough solder, you add a little bit more. So as you can see, I really do fist fa fuss with my um, solder work. Okay, so now I'm having, I'm starting in on adding the hair and the hat. So as you can see, I attacked on those wires. Um, what I do is I cut about, I don't know, about three inches, three and a half inches of 18 gauge solid copper wire and I tape them flat with two pieces of tape and that's um, frog tape uh, that I used. And I have um, two supports to hold my little guy up and what I do is I center the wires to the top and I push down on the top of my little leprechaun guy so that my wires conform to the shape of the top just push it down and it usually will you'll, the wire is soft enough it will bend into the shape of the top of the leprechaun and then Really, all I'm going to do is tack this in. I'm not soldering it yet. Um, so I'll have to fl flux it. Make sure you put the flux in because otherwise the soldering won't work. I wear a glove to protect my hand because the wires will get hot. So please be careful when you do this. Um, take a little bit of solder on your soldering iron and I forgot to put my flux on I think yep <laughs> okay so put a little solder on your soldering iron and put the wires in place and then just put your your iron on top let the solder seep through the wires to the top of the leprechaun and the idea is to let it get tacked there so it won't come off now while the wires are hot or they're pretty hot just slide the tape off it'll come right off If you let it cool down, the, the tape won't come off easy. So now I'll add some more soldering to the top and make sure it's the, the wires are good and soldered onto the top of the leprechaun. So his little hat is going to go on next, but what I need to do is make a 
support uh, wire and I use about maybe four inches of wire and I have those are bailing um, the bail pliers to make jewelry um, but you can use anything you can use a crochet hook whatever to make a loop in the uh, wire and what you're doing is making a cotter pin shaped support for the hat so I, I curled my wire and now I'm bending back my ends to make it look like a cotter pin see Excuse me. So now I turn my piece over and I'm going to tack that on to the top of his head with the two tails pointing to, towards his feet. So holding it with my gloved hand, I'm pushing, I'm kind of forming the loop to bend towards the front of the leprechaun because the hat is going to sit on the form, on the loop. So I'm just tacking it right in the center. And now I have a loop for the hat to be soldered to. Just checking my tack, making sure it's the, um, holding well. And then I'm going to um, just tin the loop, the copper wire loop with the solder just to make it look nice. So where you place this loop is where the hat is going to be. So then I turn the piece over with the hat uh, um, upside down and I place the top of the wires on the bottom of the hat and the loop is bent downwards and sits right inside the form of the hat. So it sits right down in there and I can solder the hat to the loop. I'm pushing it down making sure it touches the hat. Don't forget to flux. Holding it down with my gloved hand, making sure it's touching the hat, I add the solder now. So see, you can see that I have the soldered um, loop, all the soldered wires are there, and the hat is soldered to the loop, 
and we are going to now work on the hair. So I pull my wires apart and I take the two back wires that are pointing towards his feet and I pull them up. Sorry, it's off camera. So I have my wires separated and now I'm going to tin them. So I'm going to put some flux all over them. By the way, the flux will also take any stickies from the tape off the wires. So just rub, rub the wires with the flux. It takes it right off. And then just add your solder um, on the wires to tin them. If you had pre-tinned wire, that would be fine. You could use that. Again, this is 18 gauge solid copper wire. You can find it in any of your hardware stores. But you can also buy tinned copper wire. and you can eliminate this step. Trying to cover all the bare wire. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I am always coming up with some kind of creative ideas on how to um, do different things with stained glass pieces, stained glass um, scraps, and just being creative and coming up with new ideas. I always have something going on. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. You'll get a notice. So I have my pieces, my little wires all soldered up and t all tinned. And now I'm just going to take my um, round nose pliers and I'm going to just curl them ever so small. Just curl in one direction. And this is where you can get creative and you know put your wires where you want them. But this is this guy's little, his, his hair, so um, I curl each piece, like I had, a, I curled two of them in and two of them over the other side. And there, in that section there, we're going to put some hair. And this is just being um, creative and creating a little texture while also supporting the hat because I'm, I'm swiping it over the, the edge of the hat and adding little dollops of solder to create a little bit of hair on his forehead. And continuing on to make the curly hair. I'm bending and twisting until I like the position that it's in. So we go on to the next one. 
I'm curling it in the same direction. And I'm sorry, I'm off camera. It's hard to do it and remain on camera. And now I'm going with the other direction and twirling it up instead of under. And then I'll twist it around. And just fit the little curls in the way it looks best. Sorry, I'm off camera. Every one of these little leprechaun guys is different because you're do you're creating it as you're going. It, there's no set way of doing it. You can curl them any way you want. So I do the same thing on the other side just to keep it uniform. I curled two under and then I curled two over. Oh, just so you know, all of the materials that I use to create my stained glass pieces is in the description below with links to them if um, you're looking for something that I'm using and would like to buy it. I am an affiliate with Amazon and I do get a tiny commission for anyone that purchases um, an item through one of my links, but it's at no additional cost to you. It's just to support my channel and um, directs people to purchase the item through Amazon. Just an easy way to find what I'm using. So now I'm taking a little bit of um, solder and I'm really just kind of running, running over it just to blend everything in. Some of my, my swirls will get filled, some of them won't. Um, and I'm not really caring too much about whether it gets filled or not. Um, it's just however it looks ends up tur turning out good and looks nice to me uh, that's the way I'll leave it so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and got something out of it I'm going to be adding a charm in a minute um, to the front of him and I'm just going over it again making sure that all my wires are good and solid and it's not going to fall apart So now I have a little clover that says Irish on it, and I'm going to put it on his front, ch um, his front I spilled a little bit of solder on the charm. I was trying to get it off, but I'll get it off when I put it on him. It just dresses up the pieces um, and makes them have more interest. and. I think he turned out cute. They were fun to make. So all of my glass pieces are for sale on my channel, on my um, website, artbysherylann.com. And I also have patterns for sale there too for really, really inexpensive, like a dollar. <clears throat> just so you can have the patterns, download them. The fee is really just to help support my, my uh, costs for the website. So now I'm going to go in the back side 
and I'm going to fill that little gap in with solder. One more way to hold the charm in um, from falling off, you know, soldering it, making it solid there, cleaning it up. And all I did was tack him on there and the little guy is done. As you can see, every one is different. They're similar, but they're they are different. Every piece has a different hairdo. So I hope you like this video. Make comments, please. Let me know what you think. Um, is there anything that you would like to see me make? Um, I'd like to know what your interests are and um, thanks for watching my video and here are, are five of them I had I have eight of them done but the picture shows better with just the five so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye now